Hello friends! Happy Monday! Welcome, welcome to Craft With Us. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brittany. I'm one of the children's librarians here at the Winchester Public Library, but most everyone calls me Miss B. Not because we're formal in any way, just because it's easier to say. All right, my friends, for those of you who picked up our craft bags this morning, thank you so much. And for those of you who didn't, that's okay. I'm going to you, I am going to show you what you can do to substitute all of the materials that you didn't grab this morning, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Uh, also, quick note, my friends, uh, craft bags go out at nine o'clock on Monday mornings. They're first come, first serve. We usually have about 35 bags, give or take. Uh, so feel free to come and grab one. We should have one um, every Monday that we're not closed from now until the end of the year. So stay tuned for plenty more crafts. Today, we're making a foam pencil topper because so many of us are in school and some of us are even in school at home right now. So it's fun to have a little decorative something for the top of your pens and pencils. So this is one that I already made right here. Look at my fancy bejeweled cupcake. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it, okay? All right, so we look at the materials in our craft bags and we got some assorted foamy squares right here. Everyone should have some different colors right there. You got a glue stick if you decide to get decorative. And then you got pencil. Oops, I dropped some foam, that's okay. You got a pencil right here. Uh, I think yours was not sharpened. So if you haven't sharpened it yet, go ahead and sharpen your pencil. And then you got some templates for a cupcake and a mustache. And then from home, you'll need some scissors. And then if you wanna get crafty, a hole punch or anything else that you may have that you wanna decorate with. You can use some markers if you want. For those of you who joined us last week for our unicorn craft, I've got some bedazzles left over, so I might use those with my mustache craft that I'm gonna make. Anything you wanna to do to make it fancy or plain, totally up to you. All right, so let's get started. And so for those of you who haven't already cut out your templates, go ahead and cut them out right now. You should have two on one half sheet of paper. So friends, if you have a grown up with you, have them help you use your scissors. Um, and then friends who didn't um, grab a craft bag, just grab a scrap piece of paper and draw an outline of something, anything. It can be an outline of a toy, a shape, a star, use a cookie cutter. Cookie cutters are super handy. I bet, I know we're all doing a lot of baking at home right now, at least I know I am. So grab a cookie cutter and just trace it um, either right onto your foam if it's a cookie cutter because then you can kind of make the print, the outline, and so it's easy to cut around or trace it either right onto your foam or on another piece of paper and cut it out. So cookie cutters or blocks, anything like that, those are really great simple shapes and make sure we let our kids uh, use our pencil and work on those fine motor skills holding that pencil and trace our shapes, okay? All right, so if you've cut out your templates, now we trace. All right, so I would like to have an orange mustache. So I'm gonna grab my pencil. And again, if we've got very young friends, maybe the grown-up helps them do some of the tracing. And if we've got some older friends, let them try it themselves and see how they do. All right, because that's how we learn, right? We just try. And it's a pencil, so if you goof up, that's okay. You can just erase it and try all over again. All right, so there is my mustache on my orange foam, okay? All right, so now we're gonna cut them out, and you can do one at a time or both at once. So if you're still tracing, that's okay. You can trace your other shape. All right, I'm just gonna cut really slow. And so again, same thing, just like with tracing, if we're really, really little, maybe we let our grown-ups help us. And if we're a slightly bigger kid, why don't you give it a shot? See if you can do it, okay? There we go. All right. Crafts are not only fun, they help us learn too, right friends? All right, so there we go. Cut out your mustache. There we go. Halfway there. bottom half, right there. I don't know if any of you out there have ever read Mustache Baby or its sequels by Bridget Heos. If you haven't, I highly recommend it. It's a great book. Okay, so now we have our mustache. So then what we wanna do 
is we want to cut a couple of slits before we decorate so we're not getting in the way of our decoration. So what we want to do is we want to roll it like this and we want to cut two, we want to fold it, sorry, fold it like this. Sorry friends, fold it like this, but don't fold it all the way in half. Fold it so that you can see a little space through it, just like that. And then we're gonna do two little slits right kind of in the middle of our craft. And you can always cut more, but you can't uncut. So you see, we've got our pencil fits on the back like that. So I'm gonna take mine off so that I can show you how it works. And we just do a little snip. And if you really want to, friends, you can grab your, well, it's hard, you'd have to use another pencil, but you can do two little marks. Or if you wanted to grab a marker, and you can, oops, let me show you on the screen right here, and you can trace exactly around where your pencil would be if you wanna be extra careful, okay? It kinda of leaves a little mark, some grooves in there, so you kinda of can see where your pencil was. All right, so we do a little snip, and a little snip, Oop. Okay, make sure we leave some space, and then we give it a little test. We slide it right in there, Oop. and it will stretch a little. Oop, it's working. All right, there we go. We've got our mustache on, and so now it's up to you, friends. You can either, if you're going to use your pencil to draw or anything like that, you can take it back off, or you can leave it on. I'm going to do a bejeweled mustache, and then I'm gonna use my hole punch. So I've got two of my jewels left over from last week. And so uh, friends who are joining us who didn't grab our craft bags, um, obviously the foam works the best because it's a little bit stretchy with this, but you can use any kind of um, like construction paper, any kind of sturdy paper will work just as well. Um, you just have to be really careful with your slits so that you don't, you might even need to like do a little tape across the back. Um, but like construction paper will work um, or oak tag will work um, just as well. All right, so now I'm gonna use my blue I'm going to use my hole punch. Let's do it. I'm going to punch a couple of holes and see if I can't get them to dump up. Oh, look at all of those holes I have. All right, so let's see. I'm going to use my glue stick right there. I'm going to put a polka dot whoop, right there. Oh, and there's my other one. It's stuck. Come out, polka dot. Come out. There we go. There's my, oh, it's sticky, sticky polka dot. There we go. Oh no, it's sticking to my finger. Oh no, friends, it's not gonna stick. There we go. Oh, I got too much glue on my hands. This is why it's good to have a grown up help you because they can help you put the glue on and then you with your unsticky fingers, you also can put the glue right on your foam right there like that go in and get a different one. There we go. I got it. I must ask you, do you like my craft? Ah. All right. So there you go. So I've got a mustache and then I've got my cupcake right there. All right. So if you used your glue, uh, make sure you, you don't get the color on your finger and then smear it all over like I did. Um, and then just make sure you set it down and let it dry. I know waiting is the hardest part, friends, but it will be really fun and it will stick if you just put it down and let it dry for just a few minutes before you either slide it back onto your pencil or you use your pencil depending on how you chose to decorate your craft. Okay? All right, my friends. So that was our foam topper pencil craft for this Monday's Craft With Us. There we go. All right, so Join us again next Monday to see what we have in store for you then. And as always, if you love your craft and you want to send us a picture at WinPubLib on Instagram, or you can send us windchild at minlib.net, all of that information is on our social media. We'd love to see your pictures and we'd be happy to post them for you. Otherwise, my friends, as always, be safe, be kind, wash your hands, and wear your mask. 
I will see everyone back here next week. Same time, same place. Bye.